Hi guys, Paul here from Paul Ford Leather. And what I'd like to do today is, is talk about how to prep leather that doesn't have a finish on it. And uh, when I say finish, I'm talking about a solid finish or a pigmented finish that you see on normal standard leathers. This leather here is a dyed leather. And you can see that area here was out of sight. And here, it has been exposed to wear and tear and direct sunlight and has completely burnt the dye out. So what's left on here now is like a white haze. It's like a, uh, it's almost a powdery haze where everything's just all gone, or, the, or the, the surface of the leather has sort of crystallized a little bit. So really the object of, or the, the goal for prepping this type of leather is we, we ultimately want really good adhesion for our new finish. And to do that, you really need to make sure that this leather is, is very, very porous. And how you can test that, if I dip my finger in this water here, and I stick a blob on here, which I prepped about an hour ago, and stick a blob on there, which I haven't prepped, you can see that virtually straight away, the water is sucked into the leather and you can see a dark patch, whereas here, virtually nothing. So I'll we'll wipe that away now. So I've sort of been experimenting with different ways of doing it to see which is the, you know, going to give you the fastest results uh, best results in the shortest period of time. So, what uh, one of the methods that I have found, uh, it's it's a wee bit slower, but it's using a fine scouring pad and just virtually sanding it like this. You can see that it's it's taken the powder off. Just need to make sure when you're working around stitching that you don't rub it too hard because you can fry it, uh, which is what you don't want. So this is idea number one. Let's just blow the dust away. Idea number two is if you get a bit of a sponge and dip that into some water, and then I can wrap it up into another piece of scouring pad. So what the sponge is doing is it's gonna hold the water in there so uh, it's gonna keep the sponge wetter longer. And you can do this. You can see, see it's getting darker. It means that that white haze, that crusty haze, is being stripped right off. Let's give it a wipe with a paper towel. And you can see all that gunge and in that's inside the white haze is completely, is actually coming out completely, so which is what we want. And then what I would do after that is I would use the leather cleaner and just give it a wipe over the top because that leather cleaner is going to strip out any, any dirt or perspiration that's sitting in the leather. So it's looking pretty good. So what I'll do now is just let that dry naturally. So you've got option one which is to dry sand it. Uh, that's going to take longer. It's probably going to use a lot more uh, scouring pads, you can see it's just gonna it's gonna gum it up pretty quickly. Well, option number two is you can uh, just pour water on the sponge, wrap it up in the scouring pad, and uh, as you can see, it just cut into it a lot quicker. So what we'll do now is I'll I'll cut away, let that dry, and then uh, we'll go to the next step. Regarding the scouring pads, what I use is these ones here are made by Norton, and you can buy them at Mitre 10 in a, in a sheet that size and you can cut them up into whatever size you want. The other kind of scouring pad, which I have seen a lot of, is these green ones here. Uh, quite often the supermarket sells these in packs of three. Uh, I find these are actually very, very abrasive, so if you use these, you run the risk of leaving scratch lines in the leather, which you don't want. These super fine ones will not do that. It's enough to scour the leather, but not gonna scratch it. So I'd highly recommend getting super fine scouring pads. Right, so now the leather's dried, what we'll do is we'll test it again with our dipping our finger in the water testing method. Put a blob there. As you can see, it's just going straight in there. There's a blob there, not so good. And a blob where we haven't prepped. So looking at those two methods, uh, I, th I think the wet sand is definitely gonna be the fastest and give us the best results. So there you have it, folks. This is the winner. And what I'll do now is we'll cut away and go to the next step. Right, the leather uh, has dried out. And just as a final step to make sure that I'm mopping up everything that I can get out of the leather, 
is to use some methylated spirits and dip a paper towel into it. You can use the leather prep, um, which is what I use as a solvent for prepping leather, but either or is fine. And just basically wiping over the area that you've dry, uh, wet sanded rather. And there's not much coming out. So this is just to make sure I'm getting everything out. So we've got a, a really pure surface to work on. There you have it folks, so we'll let that dry naturally and uh, that's how you do it.